Hey everybody, Scary Spikes here, and welcome back to part 3 of our comprehensive beginner's guide for Destiny 2. Today, we're talking about worlds. As a new player, you'll want to always do a discover quest before doing any other activities on a planet. So, for example, if we go over here to Titan, you'll see that we have a discover Titan quest, which means we've not done anything on this world yet. You'll want to complete this because it unlocks other kinds of activities on the planet, and you can do that by going to the local landing zone and starting there. So as soon as you arrive, you'll want to speak to the person who has your welcome quest, or in this case your discover quest. Go ahead and accept that and take note of anything they want you to do. In this case, it's some pretty mundane stuff like lost sectors, patrols, and public events, but they're pretty easy to do and it's a great introduction to the rest of the map. You'll also want to grab any bounties that are available as it's very likely that you'll complete these in the course of your duties and completing different activities on the planet anyway, and the little extra glimmer and gear never hurt anybody. When you're finished with that, go ahead and hand in any tokens that you might have. I have some here for some reason, but if you're new, you may not have any yet. In this case, I do, so I'm going to get an engram, and we'll go ahead and check into the quest screen to check out our bounties in a little bit more detail. You'll always want to do this before moving on with your adventures, because it'll give you an idea of how to configure your character to best take advantage and be most efficient with the bounties. And as you can see here, we've already unlocked some different activities on the planet simply by just accepting that quest. So the more you complete, the more you'll unlock and you'll be able to move through the quest line of the planet with ease. In the interest of simplicity, since this is a beginner's guide, we'll be focusing on the EDZ, or the European Dead Zone, located on Earth. This landing zone is where you'll likely spawn as a new player. And up here is the quest giver for Earth, so this is where you can get most of your quests as well as bounties for the region. Now there are different icons on the map, representative of different kinds of events, so in this case you have your adventures, which are like longer quests that take you to different parts of the map. You have your public events, which you can jump in and jump out of at any time, and as soon as you complete them you can get a reward. There are some other markers here signifying other points of interest on the map, such as lost sectors, which we'll get into in just a little while. Additionally, if you want to get your feet wet and play the single player campaign, you can go ahead and access that by these icons here. And then you can also launch strikes directly from the map by accessing them through these icons here. Additionally, if you want to go and do some raids, you can access them here. Just keep in mind that they are not match made, with the exception of guided games which are available here. To get started, just click and hold on your desired landing zone and you'll be teleported there. As with most quest giving NPCs on planets, you'll see a very similar thing happen here. At the very top, you'll have your XP bar, you'll have all of your currencies listed below, and then at the bottom here, or rather in the middle, you'll have the items that you can hand in in order to get an engram. Make sure to hand these in because they won't just be getting you gear, but they'll also be unlocking the gear that you can buy from that particular vendor at the bottom. Now as you can see here, I've already collected my bounties, but make sure to grab these anytime you come by. And this is the gear that you can then buy once you've unlocked a certain amount of engrams. So keep that in mind. It might not be useful for you, but it might be good for an alt. One of the first places you'll explore as a brand new Destiny 2 player are Lost Sectors. And the first one is right here inside the church. It's indicated by that mark on the wall, and usually the mark means that there's an entrance very close by. Now, for this particular one, it's really just right beside it, but it helps to illustrate the point that when you see one of those marks, there's definitely some cool loot to be had nearby. Now, Lost Sectors are basically single-player instance dungeons. They're kind of like strikes, except they're less challenging and slightly less rewarding, but a sizable glimmer, gear, and resource reward can be found by completing the dungeon by killing the boss at the end, getting his key, and opening up the chest. This one in particular doesn't take too long, so we'll just go ahead and finish this quickly, but I just wanted to illustrate how easy it is to get through here, especially as a newer player, to get some of those early rewards that will help you to upgrade your gear later on. Alright, so once you've reached the final boss, go ahead and just kick him in the nuts, take his key, and take all the loot for yourself. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. One of the most common types of activities you'll encounter is the patrol. Now, patrols are very similar to adventures, with a few differences. Patrols are often shorter, and they often don't stray too far away from where you accept them. Additionally, uh, they are not as involved with regards to time commitment, and they usually have less or fewer objectives to complete before you can actually complete them. Most of the time it's go here, kill this, scan that, and then you're done. So it's pretty straightforward and it's an easy way to get a few rewards here and there, or to complete bounties if that's what you've got. 
public events are also a really good way to get some gear as well as some glimmer. So whenever you see one nearby, you can just go ahead and join up and all you need to do is just hit one of the mobs or get involved in one of the objectives and that will automatically start you in the progress towards finishing the event. Keep in mind that if you do a public event, sometimes you might be moving from one area to the next, but generally there should be other people there with you, so just go ahead and follow them and then you'll get used to the events as you complete them in turn. As soon as your event is finished, go ahead and grab the loot cache that appears and enjoy your gear. And that's public events. Pretty easy stuff. Once you're all ready to wrap up, make sure to go back to your quests section and turn in any bounties you have, and then you're good to go. So that was Worlds. If this video was helpful to you, please make sure to let me know by leaving a like. Get subscribed if you're new around here and hit the bell so you never miss one in the future. I will see you in Destiny 2 and in the next video.